think our students really have the vocabulary now and the tools to make a good case, both for the environmental benefits and the cost benefits of undertaking behavior changes and efficiency changes in their school. This summer, 38 students from seven local school districts learn how to find energy savings for their schools. It's just a really amazing program. All kinds of benefits, both the community, in terms of environment and uh, lower energy bills, benefits to the individual students, you know, they get to earn a little bit of money. The project, funded by Carbon Sales under Assembly Bill 32, help students, the environment, and local schools. There are so many great reasons to pursue energy efficiency in schools. It improves learning outcomes, it saves energy, it saves schools money at a time when money for schools is so desperately needed. My favorite thing about the class is probably finding out just how much of a difference it upgrading can be. Like when they're talking about um, putting LED lights as opposed to the other lights in the exit signs and that it could save like $2,000. I was really impressed. I was like, wow, it makes that big of a difference. It's cool to see all the different heaters and pumps that it takes to you know, keep a school running as far as AC, et cetera. So we're really training our students to be like building doctors. They're really learning about the inner workings of buildings and being able to develop accurate diagnoses for the buildings that they see. It's kind of cool to see how things run behind the scenes and what behind the scenes can be changed. The coolest thing I've learned is the amount of electricity you can save on the heating and cooling. And how does that translate to students' personal lives? I'm probably just going to try to tell my family to maybe ease off the air conditioner. It's funny, I actually told my mom, you know, we need to unplug all this stuff. And then I actually forgot to unplug the toaster after I was done toasting, so it, you know, it takes some getting used to. And I tend to leave things plugged in all the time, so yeah, I realized that there's a lot of things I could be doing differently. A sentiment echoed by all of our students. If you don't protect your environment, you're not protecting future generations. You know, we have a lot of air pollution and stuff and all the carbon dioxide we're putting in the air. I think that it's good that we're finding out ways to prevent that. They're able to earn a little bit of money help the environment, make a difference in their own schools. The students, if you talk to them, they'll tell you we're making a, a difference not only in our own generation, but in future generations. And for this generation of students, the future is now. The kids are amazing. I mean, we are demanding a lot out of them, eight to five, five days a week during their summer. The payoff came when students presented recommendations to their school boards for cost savings and environmental benefits, many of which have already been adopted. Seeing the results of their work proved to students they could make a real difference. I really like working with my fellow students. It's professional, but we also have fun. The people here are always really nice and, you know, we all get along really well. They have some really substantial stories and examples of work that they have done in the past to demonstrate what they can do in the future. It's an opportunity to change lives. Being able to put this on a resume, get into you know uh, the college that they want to, or get into college at all, or maybe just go straight into the workforce. Um, these are the kind of things that are going, this program is going to be able to help the students do. It's very likely that the work that students are doing right now will shape their future career path. So I think that we're really setting students off on uh, advanced career pathway related to clean energy through this program.